Hi there, it's Brittany Chavers. I am here today with a um, an earring blitz with a special kit that Jesse James Beads put together for our live today. So I'm just gonna wait for a little while for um, some people to join and then we'll get started. If you're just coming in, um, today we're making five pairs of earrings and we're using a kit that Jesse James Beads put together. If you don't have the kit, um, we can, you can use this with beads that you might have at home. Hi everybody. Hi Katie. Um, you'll need some nippers, some, uh, two pairs of pliers and possibly some nylon jaw pliers. Hope everybody is having a fun Sunday. Um, uh, here is the kit for today's live. Um, it's offered on jessiejamesbeads.com. And um, we are making five pairs of earrings today. Hi, Pam. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for joining. Hi, Leticia. Um, and the ear wires are by uh, Tierra Cast. We have four different little packages of wire. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Gail. And then we had um, some head pins. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everybody who's joining. Good to see you. We had a really cute little strand of tiny Thunder Polish uh, crystal beads in three by two millimeter. Hi, Donna. Hi, Kim. And we had this wonderful bead mix, a bunch of different fun beads. So let's take a look at what we have going on. Um, so if you're just joining, we're going to be making five pairs of earrings today. Um, we're going to have a fun packed day and I think we've had the picture of the earrings up for a while so um, I'll be showing you through through the um, tutorial the finished products so the first earring I think we're going to do today is probably the well some of them are intermediate so I think we'll start with this little pink earring um, it's kind of fun and it's probably the simplest earring that we're gonna make today I'm just gonna dump out my beads up here like that for this earring we're going to need um, a silver uh, faceted bead we'll need this large fluted pink bead four of these little rondelles and then two of these check glass rondelles and that's just for one earring. We're also going to need a silver ear wire. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. It's going way too quickly, that's for sure. All right, for this earring, we're gonna need the 24 gauge silver wire. So that's the thinner gauge silver wire of the two and I think that's this one but I'll double check <laughs> so let's pop them both open and if you ask questions in the chat I'll try and re I'll try and um, respond but if I don't respond um, please ask again because I may mi just miss your question, that's all. All right, sorry for that crinkling noise. I'm just checking to see which one is 22 and which one's 24. This one's the 24. So you should have received two feet of the 24 gauge silver wire. Oh, Sandra, thank you. She said she loved my bracelet. And actually, if you aren't already aware, I have a YouTube channel called Turquoise Street, and this um, tutorial is going to be going up today. Hi, Kay. Hi, Norma. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. All right, so for this pink earring, like I said, we have two feet of silver wire. Now we only need one foot for one earring, so you'll have another foot left over for your second earring. I do have my trusty, dusty, um, really old <laughs> uh, ruler here, so I will be cutting off a foot of wire and then just putting the other foot aside 
so I can make my second earring a little bit later on. Cut that. Yay, I'm so glad so many people are joining. Hi, Jane. And then to for this earring, and I think one of the others that we'll be doing today, we're making pretty much our own head pin. Hi, Winnie. Yes, the video will be available later on Jesse James Beads channel, um, channel and on their Facebook page. So we're making our own head pin today. I'm just going to take this silver bead. I'm going to move it down to the middle of my wire. So I'm just going to line up both of my wires. And this is kind of where nylon jaw pliers come in handy. If you haven't seen nylon jaw pliers before, it's exactly what they sound like. So it has two pieces of nylon or plastic here, and it helps not mar your wire when you want to straighten it. So you just drag the nylon or the wire through the, the jaws, and it straightens it out. So I'm just doing that here. And I'm just gonna take my wires. I'm going to feed on this pink bead. I'm going to move that down. And there we go. So I've made my own head pin by using this silver bead as um, a stopper and coming around the back of that bead and then coming up through the pink bead. Next, we are going to put our two, uh, two pink beads on, then our check bead, and then two, small, two more pink beads on each string or each strand. I feel like this is kind of like a, a funky mod earring, more modern looking. And then if you can apl obviously apply these techniques to any color uh, combo that you'd like to match your aesthetic. All right, so then we have our six beads on there. And as we see, it kind of naturally falls into a layered effect. I'm just going to move them down a little bit more. So I want these pink beads, or this pink bead right here, right up against my other pink bead, and then just move that one down. I don't want it so that they're both bulging out. I just want them a little bit closer to the bead. Then I'm going to bring my two wires back together and find another one of these silver beads, just like we put on the end. Okay. I'm going to slide that down. And yes, you're going to be able to see some, some wire here like that, but that's part of the design. And then what we're going to do is take our round nose pliers and we're going to make a loop at the top. So what I'm going to do here is keep my round nose pliers on my, or the wire between my round nose pliers. I'm going to bend back with both wires. I'm going to adjust my pliers just a little bit, bring that back over. So that creates our loop form. I'm going to readjust my pliers, put them back in here and bring those to the back. So now we have a loop. Now you do want to be careful here. Normally I would just grab my loop if it wasn't doubled and start um, doing my wire wrapping, but if I grabbed like this, my two loops are going to kind of split apart. So instead of doing that, I'm going to slide them back on and I'm going to take my wire and I'm just going to wire wrap down till I get to that silver bead. I'm just going to do a couple more. And go back up. Now, this is where you want to decide where do you want your, how do you want your earring to hang? And with a, a design that's kind of just abstract like this, any side of the earring is going to be fun to look at. So I'm just going to keep it like I have it here. And I am going to take my nippers and cut my wire, making sure that it's pretty flush. Okay, that's not going to grab onto your hair. It's not going to grab onto your sweater or your scarf or whatever you're wearing. And then I'm just going to take my ear wire, slip it open, and hang it on there. Now, if you're looking at your earring and that's not what you want to see when you're looking at it, then just twist your, your loop and you'll, it'll hang from maybe this side. So that's a pretty quick five, pit, uh, five minute pair of earrings that are super interesting to look at. 
So we're down number one. Number two, we are going to move on to our silver wire our 22 gauge. So that was the little bit heavier wire in the kit and you should have received one foot of this. <laughs> Julie says, I don't even wanna hear about sweaters right now. And I was thinking the same thing, like it's 112 here in Arizona. <laughs> so me saying sweater was actually like, I, I kind of cringed a little bit. So we're gonna make this really fun, 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 dangly earring. Um, and we are actually gonna be using some of these beads. Now, if you're looking at this earring, I'm, I'm sure you're thinking, where are these beads gonna fit into this earring? Well, sometimes when we use head pins, the heads of the pins are a little bit too small for the beads that we want them to go into. I wanted these flowers to be dangling off the head pins. Well, I'm just gonna use these tiny rondelles to keep that flower from falling off because the holes of the flowers are a little too large. So I'm gonna grab three of these little flowers for our first earring. Then I'm gonna come over, you should have gotten six silver head pins. I'm gonna grab three of them. And I'm gonna open my Thunder Polish strand. pour some of them out into this little cap so we don't lose them all so they're not flying all over the bead studio if you're like me you have probably a pound of bead soup on the floor I don't need to add to it <laughs> some of these are going to be in our uh, future earring too all right so if I like I said if I put these on most likely these are going to go right through unless these head pins are actually the right size Ooh, these head pins are actually the right size so here you can skip this step if your head pen heads are small enough or I'm sorry large enough to not go through the flower but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway just so you can see what I was talking about so I am going to put on my bead and then my flower and you still can't see it if it's dangling. Now, if you do want to see it, you could put possibly like a bicone there and you'd have maybe rainbow or purple or whatever color you're looking for. So with this earring, we are going to kind of measure against our pair once you've made your first one. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers again and I'm going to do another loop. I'm just going to hold it up to my first earring, go for that longer piece, go next to that longer piece and make a bend just a little bit further up to start my loop. So I just made a little bend. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to reposition my pliers, come back around. So we're starting our loop. Bring that back. And if your fingers just don't want to do that, you can grab it with your uh, another pair of pliers. Sometimes it's a little hard to do that. So here, we're not wire wrapping, we're just making a simple loop. I'm just gonna snip off my excess there. Okay. And it's okay to leave it open for now because we're gonna have to hook it on to our earring. Let's set that aside. I'm gonna do it two more times, but I want it to, the other two, to be a little bit shorter. So we have our longest here, put on another small rondelle, put on a flower, and then I'm going to go next to my earring and figure out where the matching uh, bend needs to be. And it's kind of right where my, the top of my thumbnail is right there. So I'm going to take my pliers, make a bend, and then do the exact same thing. Come back around. And we'll snip. So as you can see, this one's just shorter than that one. And we can also, if it, you decide that you made it a little too long, all you need to do is eat, uh, just wrap around your um, loop again, just kind of keep going a little bit and then snip where you want to, to make your loop. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time, a little bit shorter than the last one. If 
find my shortest one. So right about right there. Bend, come back around, and pull to the back. All right. We'll make a little snip. Okay, so that's the first part of the earring we have finished. Hi Ruth, glad you were able to catch us. Now we have this top part to do. So I need um, this little check glass bead, so pretty, fire polish. Um, we have a different kind of bead cap, it's a little tiny flower. And then another one of these silver beads, okay? We're also going to take our, um, this one was 22 gauge, you should have received one foot. We're gonna need six inches here, and that's stretching it, you might need a little bit less. So I'm just gonna cut to six inches. Hi Zoe, hi Christine, so glad you're joining. We'll make a snip here. Hi Bunny. Yeah, Bunny's in Arizona too, <laughs> it's hot. So what if, if you're looking at our earring here, you can see that this loop is quite a bit larger than maybe the top loop. And that's because I wanted enough room for our um, little flower stems to move around freely. I didn't want them to kind of just freeze. I want them to be have some motion while we're wearing our earrings. So what we're going to do is take our pliers and instead of just doing a, a regular wire wrap like I would like right here at the end, I'm going to go to the fattest part of my wire or my I'm sorry, my round nose and start that loop. Okay, so I'm just going to put it through actually just like that. So it looks like it's a little bit bigger than we normally would make a loop. Let me get that back in there. Okay. And since these are open, we can just make our loop here. We don't need, or I'm sorry, we could just start wire wrapping here. We don't need to load them on before closing that loop up. And it's just going to make it a little bit easier on you. So I just did maybe two wraps, two and a half wraps. Get that around and we're going to snip that in the back. Then I'm just going to come up here, add on my fire polish bead, my bead cap, move this out of the way, and my silver bead, like we're seeing here. And like I said, six, six inches here was very generous. We probably don't need that much. Then I'm just going to do a wire wrap loop like we've been doing. And if, the, if I'm moving too quickly for you, I'm sorry, We this will be uh, replayed on Jesse James Bead's um, YouTube channel and their Facebook. And it might be on my YouTube channel as well. All right, so I've done a wire wrap loop there. I'm gonna snip. So we have a cute little link. I'm gonna take, and I just did, I just added my little um, flowers from largest to smallest, I believe. Oh, no, I put small, large, and then medium. All right, so we'll find the small one, which is this one. I'm gonna swing that open. Put that on. Close it up. I'll find the longest one. Hi, Danielle. Thank you for joining. Has anybody signed up for um, summer camp? I'm super excited. I can't believe it's only a month away. I'm going to be teaching a really fun class 
using some leather and some wire. And then next to the large one, I'm going to put the medium one. There are going to be, I think, 10 instructors. Super exciting. And then I have a special um, coupon code and it's Camp Brittany if you're interested. I think you save $10 if you use it. So I'm going to go and find my TerraCast ear wires. Grab another silver one. Ooh, Tina signed up. Hi, Tina. Ooh, we have two Tinas. Hi, both Tinas. <laughs> I'm going to pop those out here. Grab another silver. I'm really excited because for those of you who follow my channel, I love polymer clay and there's going to be a polymer clay um, class from somebody who teaches for Sculpey, who is like one of the number one polymer clay companies. I'm super excited about that. Can't wait. All right. So here is pair two. That one is so fun. I feel like that one like screams like dainty. I love it. That pale blue is my favorite. Okay, so we have two pairs of earrings completed already. Um, next, I'm kind of moving in order from what I think is easiest to most difficult. Hi, June. Um, and I think we're going to go next with this one. This one's a little bit chunkier, but it's super fun and it's very glitzy. We've got a lot of sparkle going on here. So um, this one, we're going to use some 24 gauge wire and you should have gotten, um, t I want to say two feet, maybe, th maybe a little bit more of this wire than um, the 24 gauge, or I'm sorry, the 22 gauge. So each pair, you're going to need two, um, two pairs from this wi uh, wire and each pair is going to use 16 inches, so I think you got 32 inches of this wire. All right, so we're going to cut eight inches of the 24 gauge gold wire. I'm just going to cut eight inches for this earring. Tina, these are beetle on um, multiplier uh, multipliers, and they um, I think I got them from Jesse James Beats. Yes, I did get these from Jesse James Seeds. So we're going to cut eight inches for this earring. So like I said, for, for the 24 gauge wire, you'll be getting four individual earrings out of it, eight inches each. Okay, so this earring, we're going to grab this really fun gold chevron crystal slide it to the middle and then we're going to grab two of our brown lava beads just like that slide them to the middle um, then a gold spacer for each side And then we're gonna grab and more of these check glass rondelles, one for each side. And then I think we're gonna do, yep, we're gonna do another one of these gold spacers on either side of that check bead. Okay, so it should look like this. Have a little section of beads and then what we're going to do is start twisting so i'm going to end up i'm going to line up my ends here i love the look of twisted wire so i'm going to line up my ends and then put my two wires together right next to those um, gold beads Yes, Sandra, um, you can find the, in the information on uh, for summer camp on jessiejanebees.com. Um, I also have the information in my 
bead group, which is Britney's beads, and there's a coupon code for summer camp in my bead group. All right, so we're gonna just keep twisting. And sometimes this can get kind of tedious, so you can just hold it with your fingers, but if you maybe don't have the best grip strength or you have maybe arthritis or carpal tunnel and it's hard for you to grip, you can just grab your nylon jaw pliers and keep twisting, and it's really a lot easier on your joints. And I'm just gonna keep going. I don't have the best um, joints or knuckles. I have some arthritis in my fingers and I have um, carpal tunnel. So sometimes using pliers is super helpful. Okay, so you should have a piece that looks like this. Okay, we are going to find this gorgeous like disco ball bead. Slide that on, move it down like that. And then a bead, oh, I don't think this is a bead cap, it's just a spacer bead, but it's super cute. It's got five flowers on it. We're gonna slide that down like this. And then we're gonna do a wire wrap loop at the top. Oops. So if you're not comfortable with wire wrap loops, these, this, these earrings will get you comfortable. You're gonna be doing a lot of them. Or you can continue to do simple loops. However, with the wire, the wrapped wire, like the twisted wire like this, it might be a little bit difficult. So move that to the back. And then I am going to hold the loop and twist. If you missed out on this kit and you know you you want to grab it, um, I think it's still available on jessiejamesbeads.com. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to snip my wire, grab a gold ear wire, and slide that on. And here's our third pair. Love it, I love how glitzy those are. Those are actually like, this is what I would call a year round earring. Because right. So next we are gonna do a little bit more wire wrapping. There's quite a bit more in this earring than I think the others. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if that, that froze, my internet kind of kicked out. I switched to, um, I switched to LTE, so sorry about that. I'm streaming from my phone. Um, okay, I am going to kind of in include some of the techniques that we used in the um, first earring in here. Um, we're going to, for this one, use the 22 gauge gold wire, and you should have gotten two feet of that. open that up and we're gonna need a couple different lengths for this earring okay we're gonna take just smooth that out a little bit we're going to make this first piece which is just a link I'm just gonna use probably about three inches for that of wire and then I'm gonna do a wire wrap loop here. There we go. And for this one, I'm just gonna take one of these table cut beads and slide it on my wire. And then I am going to make a loop. Oops, 
bent that with my finger. I meant to bend it, bend it with my pliers to give us some room to wire wrap on. We'll swing that around. Hi, Monica. Thanks for joining. And we will wrap. Sorry, we're having some technical difficulties. Is the is the picture not great? It's looking okay on my end, but if it's not looking good on your end, I can try switching back to Wi-Fi. Just let me know. All right, so I am going to start with, we'll need about eight or nine inches of the 22 gauge wire. For this next part, I'm just going to cut eight. Actually, I'm going to cut nine because we have um, a foot for each earring. We're going to take this really pretty goldstone bead. The picture is fuzzy. I can't tell if you guys are behind me or not because I know it froze and I had to switch to, let me try and switch back to, okay, hopefully that'll be better. I'm sorry if there are some, um, I'm sorry if there are some issues. We do the best we can. <laughs> All right, hopefully it's a little bit better. I'm going to slide on my goldstone bead. And um this be this earring is a little bit different than the one I showed you with the pink beads. Okay. So what we're going to do is slide this up the back. We're going to slide that to the middle of my wire. Slide this up the back, but I'm going to also come around and do a little, just one wire wrap loop. Just one. Okay. And I'm going to leave this uh, blue, or I'm sorry, this gold wire coming out the side. Okay. I'm going to slide on my beads, so I have two of these check glass beads, or I'm sorry, three of the check glass beads and two gold beads. Sorry, I hope that the picture's clear and not freezing now. Okay, so I'm going to slide those down to my goldstone bead like that and actually what we're seeing here is that the bead is kind of loose because it's not wire wrapped to, um, close enough to the bead yeah I had two freezing issues but it, it hasn't frozen on my end yet again it should have fixed it been fixed now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this to the bead by taking my wire and twisting it. All right. So as we can see with this earring, I've come up these beads and wire wrapped at the top. And we're going to come down and wire wrap on one side. Thank you. Somebody said that we want to um, refresh, come out and refresh. So I'm just going to wire wrap around, come up, and do the same thing that I did at the bottom. So I'm just going to do a loop or two around the top of that. And again, that's going to stay off to the side. What I'm doing here is I'm going to do a wire wrapped loop, pull it around to the back, slide on my little link, 
and you can start you can start with this one and wire wrap your link on later if that's easier for you but then I'm gonna come down move this out of the way and start wire wrapping down the earring crossing and then ending down where we started so it's a little funky a little bit more boho more messy than some of the other earrings we've done today I'm just going to end that by snipping it in the back and we have this other wire up here and you can decide what you want to do at this point do you want to keep wrapping do you want to do a couple more crosses down your beads I'm just gonna do a couple more wraps up here to make it a little bit more messy I'm sorry for the the technical difficulties hopefully they've gotten a little bit better okay so then I'll just snip that towards the back And here is our earring and I'm gonna grab the black um, Tagara cast ear wire hi Brooke glad to see you open that up I'm just gonna make sure that my loops are all facing the right way because I want this to um, be the part that I see I'm just gonna take my loop and twist a little bit And there is, I can't believe this is our fourth earring. There we go. Super cute. All right, last but not least, we are going to make a, it's almost like a woven earring, and we'll need the 24 gauge, the rest of the 24 gauge gold wire for this earring and your gold head pins. So I'm gonna grab a gold head pin and this little gem so pretty and the funny thing is when you look at it and you turn it the the shape changes so I, I still can't figure this bead out <laughs> I just think it's really cool I'm going to put it on my um, my head pin and I'm actually gonna wire wrap the head pin so like we've been doing with the rest of our wires I'm just going to put that on make a loop and here I'm actually gonna help myself out and grab the other end with my other pair of pliers and just wire wrap a couple times there we go and we'll just make a little snip there Thanks, Becky. For this earring, we're gonna use some of the Thunder Polish earrings and that the rest of that 22 gauge wire, or I'm sorry, 24 gauge gold wire. I'm just making sure that I'm grabbing the right gauge because this seems a little thick. This is the gold, I think this is gold. All right. So I am going to need about eight inches for this earring. So I'm just gonna cut that on my, my ruler. Okay. And I'm gonna slide on my little drop that we just wire wrapped. And actually on either side of that, I'm going to slide on one of these little pink rondelles. Then on either side of those pink rondelles, I'm going to slide on three, I'm sorry, four of the thunder polish beads. So one, two, Three, four, 
and then one, two, three, four on this side. Now here we're going to take another one of these pink beads. I'm going to slide it on one side and then I'm going to slide the wire through the other side as well. So you want to be careful because we don't want to break our bead but this wire is very thin and it should be okay. So what we're going to do is grab, uh, push it through as much as you can and then grab one side. I'm going to use my nylon jaw pliers but you can use regular pliers if you'd like. Grab on one side and pull. And actually I'm gonna grab with both pliers on both sides. And we're just gonna pull until we make, we close up that loop. So I'm gonna keep going with my pliers. Okay, so we have a little loop here. Like that. I'm going to straighten out my wire and then I am going to put three more on each side of the foundered fault with polish beads. Then I'm going to grab another one of these little pink beads and I'm going to do the exact same thing, put it through both, uh, put the wire through both ends of the bead. And you'll know you're using the wrong gauge wire if it won't go through because only the 24 gauge is really going to work with this, the 22 gauge will not because it's too thick. We're going to grab both of those wires and pull again. Okay. So here I've created like almost like an eight like a figure eight. And then I'm just going to bring this wire up to the top. And um, in the this earring we did some twisting. You can try and twist here. It might be a little difficult. Um, I don't, I did not twist with um, the earring that I made as the sample. I'm just going to straighten my wire. And then I am just going to kind of cross them over each other just to get them to be looking like one wire and then I am going to grab them and do a wire wrap loop. So we'll go like this, like that, and then we'll kind of get them closer together. <laughs> yeah, Tina, it kind of does look like a snowman. <laughs> and then we're just going to wire wrap those together. Like that. Wrap that to the back and snip. Take our last gold ear wire. Feed that on. And there we go. I can't believe we made five different earrings in less than an hour. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. We never expect those. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, for those of the, you that who were able to, to stick it through, um, I really had fun today. I hope all of you um, join us for uh, summer camp 
and you can catch the replay on my um, YouTube channel and Jesse James Speeds Facebook. Please join me on Turquoise Street on YouTube and Brittany Speeds on Facebook. And I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye, everybody. Oh, thank you.